Hey guys, what is up? Brennan here, aka Brenbo, and today I will be telling you guys five things I love about my Lamborghini Gallardo. So this will be continuing my last video, which is five things I hate about my Lamborghini Gallardo. If you haven't checked that out, I'll put it up here. I hate roasting on the cars that I make videos about, so I have to make these videos to make me feel better about myself. But like I said, no car is perfect, so I had to make that video. But today, I'll be saying five things I love, which this video is really easy to make compared to my last one. There's way more than five things I love about this car, but I narrowed it down to the top five. So let's get started with number one, a V10 engine. No one can complain about the sound of a V10, especially on a Lamborghini. So, 5.2 liter, V10, naturally aspirated, no turbos or anything. So this thing sounds absolutely amazing, even with a stock exhaust, which this has right now, currently. We will be upgrading the exhaust in the future, so hint, hint, stay tuned for that. But you cannot be embarrassed at all to show this sound. People wanna hear this all the time, and it just sounds absolutely amazing. So even for that, I'll show you guys a sound clip, which I just did right now, so enjoy. People make absolutely beast out of these engines by twin turboing them, making them easy 1200, 600 horsepower just by adding twin turbos. It's the most popular Lamborghini two twin turbo and just makes stupid power out of. So these engines are really, really nice. You obviously have to rebuild them if you want to reach those kind of numbers, but these engines are insane. Number two, something I complained about in the five things I hate video, and that's the transmission. There's a good side and bad side to this transmission. And talking about the good side now is the drama that it creates. So unlike the Huracan, which has a dual clutch now, it doesn't create much drama when you shift it. You just like, it's really smooth and you get into the next gear really fast. Well this transmission also gets you into the next gear super fast when you're above 5,000 RPMs or so. Below that, it's really clunky, that's what I complained about. But what's so good about it is when you're going high speeds, you shift, it throws you back in your seat and creates a lot of drama for you. Making it feel more fast and just more, more fun, you know, you get a smile on your face. Unlike it, you just shift really smoothly on the Huracan, so people kind of prefer this transmission at high speeds, but low speeds prefer the Huracans. So it goes each way, but I like this transmission a lot just because it makes you smile so much when it throws you back in your seat. It's just a lot of drama. And that's the only way I can really describe it is drama. Number three is the interior of this car. For being in 2009, I don't think it aged one bit. The only thing that's a little iffy is the navigation, I guess, but everything else is perfectly fine. So I love the layout of all the buttons, like the windows, the lights. It looks like a spaceship like toggles like on the new Mustang I guess you could say especially with this interior being this navy blue and this tan it's really eye appealing and it sets off the interior even more number four is the attention no car will get people's attention like a Lamborghini you could have a Konazega Gera way more expensive car I think better looking but people won't look at it as much because they won't know what it is everyone knows Lamborghini and Ferrari so therefore it gets a lot of attention when you drive this car you're guaranteed at least one picture no doubt about it Matters how long you drive it. We drove for like 30 minutes one time and at least 20 pictures. People take videos of it, they take pictures, they smile, it makes everyone's day. So it makes me smile just seeing other people smile at it and just take pictures. It's just a really cool feeling to have. It's just really fun to drive around and see people's expressions and just how they react to the car in general. So I think that's just really unique and not really much cars would do that like a Lamborghini Ferrari just because they're so well known. Last up is the hydraulic lift suspension this has in the front. So if you push a button, the whole front will lift about two inches to clear other objects just because the front is really low you know being a Lamborghini they're really low cars so Lamborghini is really thoughtful to add this suspension that lifts up a couple inches just so you can clear curbs and other things like that they also put this on the Huracan I'm not really sure about the event door it's just a really smart feature and I think it really helps a lot of people so they just don't scrape on tons of things and obviously it gets taken away if you switch the coils on it lower the car but with stock suspension it's a really nice feature to have so there you go guys five things I love about about my Lamborghini Gallardo. I hope you guys enjoyed all of this and maybe learned something about the car or just enjoyed me talking about it. I don't know, but leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So tell me what you guys think of the things I love about this car or what I should have maybe said instead of what I said. But as always, check out the channel for more Lamborghini Gallardo videos, Audi TT, Charger RT, and Project Jeep Wrangler. But as always, you guys know, I'll catch you in the next video. So peace out.